and welcome to this tutorial which is Aurora. This is the fourth look in the Disney Princess series. Um, now it might not look like I am wearing much and that's how I wanted it to look. It's a very sheer pink and a blue eye with a little bit of yellow and a nice red lip. So if you guys want to know how I got this look then just keep on watching. Alright guys, so I've already gone ahead and based and primed my lid. Um, you can use whatever primer and base you want. I just use LA Splash Eyeshadow Sealer and I use uh, NYX Gemma Pencil in Milk. To start this look out, I'm going to take uh, the Tree Hill Eyeshadow Palettes from Wet n Wild number 334. Um, I'm getting sunburned. I'm just going to take this pink and put it on a brush and then I'm going to put it inner third, inner half. Now I have found that this color is very um, sheer but I wanted this color, this eye look to be light. I didn't really want it to be super dark. Okay, then I'm going to take Physician's Formula. And this is Shimmer Strips Blue Eye Candy. And I'm going to take just a little bit of this purple. And I'm going to put it right next to the pink. And then I'm going to take this blue and put that on the outer third of my eye. That's just to kind of create an easier transition between the colors. The next color I am going to take is a hot pot. Now this might this color might seem a little strange to put into um, this look, but the reasoning I am putting this is maize yellow. I'm trying to get it like out of my palette. Okay, so this is maize yellow, and this is number S eighteen. And the reason I'm putting this in is just more for um, inspired by her hair and uh, like fairies. Yeah, but it's mostly because of her hair. Um, now I'm just going to take my tapered eyeshadow blending brush and this is just going to go into the crease. Just to kind of uh, top it all off, I'm just going to take more of a fluffy eyeshadow brush and apply my highlight. Alright, so now grab any cold pencil and we are just going to take an angled brush such as this one. And I'm just going to pick some of this product up on the brush. And then I'm just going to lightly um, press it into my upper lashes. Now I'm going to take a different angled brush. I hate mixing my angled brushes. And this one's just a white one. I'm going to take um, any white eye pencil will work. I'm just going to use a uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And first I'm going to get the product on the brush. And before I apply this, I'm going to take the pencil and I'm going to line my, and I'm going to tight line my eyes with it just a little bit and then kind of blend it out just a little bit with your um, finger. And we're going to do something else with that in a moment. Alright, so take that 
angled brush that has the white pencil on and we're going to push it into our underneath our lower lash line. Okay, so with that same angle brush, you're just going to take a kind of um, peachy color. I'm taking new tan, and we're just going to apply that on the white pencil that's on our waterline. And then you're just going to take any small brush and what you're going to do is you're going to say, apply the same blue that you did on the outer corner into about the inner half or a little bit more than half on your lash line and then you're going to apply the same pink on the inner third. Do not apply it to your tear duct area. We're going to do something different with that. Now just taking any light pink and your finger, we're going to apply this light pink into the inner tear duct. Alright, now all you have to do is apply mascara. thing I am going to do is I'm going to take um whoops I'm going to take my red lipstick uh, I have no idea what color this actually is but it's from Wet n Wild I'm going to take a lip pencil um just to really define my lips and you can find many tutorials on how to do a red lip on YouTube I'm just going to take some of my pencil and then I'm basically going to uh, draw my lips. Alright guys, so this is the uh, finished look. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really like this color combination. I like how it's, you know, it's really a light, um, still colorful look that you can wear out paired with a um, nice red lip since Aurora is supposed to have nice rosy lips. So stay tuned for the next look, which is Pocahontas. Until next time. Bye, guys.